have your date of birth. Uh, 9-21-46. Okay. Um, and what, what was your current or former profession? What did you do the most? Um, uh, care for the elderly. Um, in what ways do you feel your quality of life has improved as you've aged? More time for myself. Uh, less problems on my shoulder and more time to spend with other family members. Um, less, there's, there's less restriction on me. Mm -hmm. That's how I feel. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what have you found is the most difficult um, of your age or in, in your age group? Uh, the most difficult <clears throat> would be uh, maintaining a reasonable uh, relationship with your kids. Mm -hmm. I'm lucky uh, my kids still uh, come to see me and shower me with gifts on my birthday or Christmas. And also my extended family. So, uh, and there are some my age, younger even, and older who don't have that. They don't have that connection. Mm -hmm. So I, I feel myself fortunate. Um, it, what, now I know you're technically like retired. Um, but what, what do you, what was it that you look forward to the most w before retirement? Going places, <laughs> driving, mm -hmm. <laughs> visiting. Um, what, uh, what was your perception of people who were 60 years or older when you were younger? Um, to be as helpful as I could. Um, I was a Girl Scout. And if I seen someone that needed help, I had no issues whatsoever about assisting them in any way that I could. I didn't see them as uh, part of society that society no longer needed. They were interesting to listen to. They had so much wisdom. Mm -hmm. So you had pretty positive yes. look always. Um, do you, do you, have you felt or, or do you feel that you've ever been unfairly judged based upon your age? Yes. In what ways? Uh, can I give you a for instance? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, um, having people speak loud to me like I can't hear. Mm -hmm. Or uh, uh, saying to me, uh, ma'am, how young are you? But don't approach me like I'm, you know, off kilter. Mm -hmm. or, um, or would you like a, a senior discount? I mean, don't assume. Because I might, I might not be as old as I look, or mm -hmm. whatever. You know, those are the things that I find. So people being condescending. Condescending, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, what is your favorite part about being the age that you are now? It could be just experiences, anything. Memories. Mm -hmm. Memories, remembering, sharing them with my sister, my kids, my niece, my nieces, um, and being. The elder, I'm going into the elderly bracket where I can share my stories mm -hmm. with the younger people. And, you know, it gets passed down. When they reach that age, then it's, it's something that stays in the family or whatever. But I, I like being the age that I am. I deserve being it. I earned it. Mm -hmm. um, what do you feel that y you've learned recently about yourself or life in general that you weren't aware of when you were younger? I got a lot of tenacity. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't let myself feel sorry for myself. If there are times that I don't want to get out of bed, I force myself. I say, you know, the bed is is for people that are sick, and you're not sick. Get up. I get up and I find things to do, and if I'm bored or whatever, I go and visit someone. Mm -hmm. Um. Now, what are you looking forward to the most in the coming years? Um, <clears throat> well, dancing at weddings. I have a lot of weddings to look forward to. Mm -hmm. A lot more births in the family. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, and watching my grandchildren and my nieces and nephews grow up. And finding mates and carrying on life. Uh, or visiting with friends that I've known for years and years, you know, or family. Mm -hmm. That's what I...
That's what I, I look forward to that.